Hello, my name is Brandon Wilson and I'm from Allergy Emergency Kit. Today I'm going to take you through our full product line and give you a quick overview of all of our school products for protecting asthmatic and severely allergic children. Uh, I'm going to start out by showing you the Allergy Emergency Kit, which is our flagship product. This is a very unique concept in that it is a public area hallway epinephrine cabinet. Just like an AED defibrillator, we believe that EpiPens need to be accessible whenever the building is open and in use. And so we have uh, both a locking and a non-locking version of this cabinet. The cabinet uh, has a breakable window, and uh, so even when it's locked, it can be accessed in an emergency. But these cabinets are very commonly installed next to defibrillator cabinets or anywhere where you have a concentration of, of children and especially if you have food or exposure potentially to bee stings or insect sting. The hallway cabinet holds, you know, four or even six uh, epinephrine auto injectors and the concept of it is that there is a Velcro back to it so when you have uh, EpiPens they stick in here. You just basically are putting a Velcro sticker on the EpiPen and uh, they go right in the cabinet and that way they stay visible. Laminated instructions for EpiPens, AubiQs, and children's Benadryl are included. On the locking version, you have a uh, hammer for breaking the window and on the non-locking version, you have a door alarm which sounds when it's open. All of our cabinets come with a 3D sign uh, for better visibility. This is installed in about a thousand schools across the United States and Canada and as far away as the United Arab Emirates and we have had two confirmed cases so far this year where this product stopped an allergic reaction in a uh, emergency. So we're very proud of it and we feel that if your school is going to invest in one product, this is definitely the one to start with. I developed this for my daughter's school originally, and when we were coming out uh, with the allergy emergency kit, it was such a new concept to put the EpiPens in the hallway that I quickly realized that I was going to have to expand my vision a little bit, or it was going to take an awful long time for, for anything to start happening. So I looked to the nurse's office, and I noticed that you know, it would have probably been fine to, to just store EpiPens in a cabinet uh, or on a shelf or, or what have you back when there was just a few of them. But in a modern suburban school environment, uh, in my daughter's school, for instance, they had over 30 EpiPens and over 20 inhalers that they were trying to keep track of in this small little nurse's office. I knew that there was a better way to do it. And so the essence of this it has all the good qualities of the uh, original allergy emergency kit, breakable window and the Velcro mounting system, but we take it a step further and I'll open here the asthma inhaler cabinet and the EpiPen cabinet. Um, the Velcro backing makes this cabinet compatible with all brands of auto injectors and all brands of inhalers because if you can uh, put it in one of our poly sleeves and we make up a, a poly uh, bag sleeve for every size auto injector and inhaler and including ones where you want to keep two EpiPens or two AubiQs for a single student, uh, inhalers and chambers, we have five different sizes uh, for the inhalers. The beauty of the system is that you're able to use our free labeling system for the EpiPens and the inhalers. You just go to our website and you can use the online app or we have a Microsoft Word template. And on the label, you're able to resize a photograph of the student and put their name, their grade, their teacher, their allergy information, and what device they have and what the expiration date of that device is. I want to cover two issues associated with this. You know, one is the issue of these things getting mixed up. I realize that there are other products on the market, but all the ones that I know of, the label is separate from the device. Our system keeps them together. The second issue that I want to address is the, the issue of FERPA or HIPAA 
privacy. You know, that is like something that comes up all the time. And I find it very unfortunate that it does because when you're talking about saving a student's life or stopping an asthma attack, I hope that privacy is not our biggest worry. And so I have two potential solutions to a FERPA HIPAA concern. All of the nurse's office cabinets ship with both clear windows and black privacy windows. And they're all breakable. So if you had an emergency and the nurse's office is open, but the nurse is not there and you can't find the key, all of these cabinets you can break into. The system works the same, whether it's the black window or the clear window. The other thing that I've introduced, which I think is a better idea, is what I call a FERPA waiver. I have created a template, which is available on our website, where you can basically say, my child has an allergy, I am not concerned about privacy in regards to their photo on their medication. I am willing to put myself on a mailing list so that other allergy parents like myself can communicate with each other about concerns they have. This system is meant for the nurse's office, so there's quite a degree of privacy there already. It's not every day that the student body is filing through the nurse's office. So I would think that keeping this medication is a, uh, organized is a much higher priority than worrying about another student seeing your child's photo when in reality it's pretty well known when a kid has an allergy because they're sitting at the nut-free table and they're uh, identified throughout many different types of activities as not being able to, uh, to have nuts or not being able to get stung by a bee without having an allergic reaction, etc. So by all means, if a parent doesn't want a photo label to help you identify in an emergency their, their EpiPen faster, you can just take it out and leave everybody else's in. You can still store it in there without the label, or you could fold the label on itself, or you know whatever you decide to do to address that. When I introduced this product a few years ago at the National Association of School Nurses uh, show in Orlando, uh, I got some immediate feedback on our original concept. They said, well, what if we have to do an evacuation? We're kind of trained that we need to be able to take medication with us. So what I did when I got back home after that show was we made some design modifications and we made it so that this panel is quickly and easily removable and with each cabinet we include an evacuation bag and so you can slide everything right into the evacuation bag and off you go and it has carrying handle on it and so then you can get in and out of the building and know that you have everyone's medication with you. Uh, all the sizes of cabinets work that way, except for the public area cabinets, in which case you just pop them open and grab uh, the EpiPens. The final thing I would like to address is that obviously these are premium cabinets. This is medical grade, powder coated, metal cabinet, meant to last for decades, and it sells at a price where that might not be affordable for every single school situation. We understand that schools have been under a lot of budget pressure, and so what we essentially did was we took uh, what was the removable panel and we turned it into its own product. So these Velcro panels are available for you to hang on the wall of your nurse's office. The system works exactly like the cabinets, but it's much more affordable much more accessible and of course these poly bags uh, the labeling system is free and the poly bags are available as a replacement part we've been improving the system over time because we want it to be real easy to pop off the wall originally we used screws and now we have these thumb turn screws so that it can come out in an evacuation situation due to shipping issues we sell the signs separately with the panels to keep the price point low to make it so that you know those who don't need a sign uh, you know can skip it and that's fine but this is our lower cost alternative to the nurse's office cabinets which are more of a premium solution another thing that i realized as a, a parent and a room dad on field trips is that it is easy for your allergy planning to kind of fall apart on special occasions like uh, field trips and so we have fanny packs available in multiple sizes and uh, we have uh, you know purse or self-carry packs uh, available and then we have this very handy uh, product that we're very proud of and this is a field trip backpack 
and uh, you know we were told that in some cases the fanny packs are just not adequate for the amount that needs to be carried and so this backpack has two compartments and the inhalers and the EpiPens they come right out of the, the nurse's office cabinets they go into this backpack it's a velcro panel that's perfectly sized to fit in the backpack it comes with instructions and you're able to keep you know separate but very organized a bunch of inhalers and a bunch of EpiPens to go on that school field trip it's important for me to note because we realize that you know we got a great system here but you're not necessarily going to be able to do it all at once and so when you buy the field trip pack it comes with the poly bags and the velcro so that you can use it even if you do not yet have our cabinets or our panels uh, in your office so you can at least begin to benefit from this product even if you're not yet you know using the entire system end to end we also recently came out with this really attractive and, and handy case that is velcro mounted on the wall and so the metal cabinet is a premium product the nice thing about this product is that since it's velcro mounted on the wall you literally grab and take the epinephrine to wherever you need it and you got the instructions in here and uh, it's still a very handy concept we have a allergy emergency kit version of this and we also have an opioid overdose version of this product this is great for trunks of police cars or for first responder kits and vehicles because it's well marked and it keeps everything nice and organized it goes without saying here that we recommend training every employee of the district in the identification of anaphylaxis uh, we have posters that are available that take you through the different body system symptoms of anaphylaxis and using kind of a larger format um, you know instructions on what to do in the case of an anaphylaxis emergency so you should be training your whole uh, staff if they have any contact or any even passing uh, sight of the kids it's better to get everybody trained and so I was thinking about athletic coaches so when you're on an athletic field you have the added concern that you're dealing with more temperature variation it's an insulated uh, bag and what this is kind of meant to do is just keep the epinephrine auto injectors or inhalers at a temperature longer so you put it in there with no ice no cold pack but theoretically the insulation is going to make it hold that room temperature if it's out in the you know 90 degrees sun or something it should hold its temperature a little bit longer um, in an insulated pack if you do not yet have an AED in your school but you've been thinking of getting one it may be a good time to kill two birds with one stone we have a combined cabinet that holds both uh, epinephrine auto injectors and an AED it's big enough and it's well suited for uh, storing both in the same cabinet and it comes with a sign that reflects both items being contained but I realized that there, there is a lot of AED cabinets already installed in the market so we offer a conversion kit a retrofit kit that includes these labels it includes this sign it includes the velcro and uh, it basically turns your AED cabinet into a combo kit of both uh, epinephrine auto injectors and an AED and I think that you'll find that uh, for the majority of AED cabinet sizes, it's just what the doctor ordered. So that concludes my, my little overview here today uh, of our products. I want to thank you for your attention and I want to welcome your questions. Uh, you can visit our website at www.allergyemergencykit.com. You are welcome to call me on my cell phone at 773-932-7483 and uh, hope you have a wonderful day and uh, we're here when you need us.